Welcome back to Game of Thrones Anglers. So for today, I'm going to show you guys how to pin your sea lice, right? Um, on your ground trace, as my previous video would have shown how to make it and knots to use, the size of hooks, the sinker. So for now, I'm just going to show you guys quickly how to, I normally fish with a double hook, uh, sorry, with a double uh, sea lice. The reason being is, if there's small fish around, you've got enough bait to last you longer. So the small fish pecks, and maybe my theory is wrong, but when the small fish comes, it pecks, there's always bigger fish coming to investigate after that. So the, the bigger the sea lice, I think, or the bigger the bait, the longer it lasts in the water, better chance of catching fish. So to pin your sea lice, basically I use the lycra cotton right not the very thick one uh, i don't like using the thick cotton because it just messes up your bait okay so i'm doing some illegal stuff in the house uh, hopefully i don't get into trouble for that but anyway um i've got some fresh sea lice as well that's still alive i managed to get some uh, remember license you've got to have a license in order to fish with this there are other rock baits as well that you need and other prawns and stuff like shrimps uh, crackers mussels please visit the post office get an angling license get a bait license follow the laws remember uh, we got there to have fun not to get into trouble all right so when i use my sea lice i always shell them uh, i feel it's more effective compared to putting it with the entire shell. So I always start off by peeling off the shell. One. And once the shell is out, the reason I do this is when you try and put cotton on the shell itself, your cotton slips, so it's moving. And your bait tends to get a bit untidy. So I take the shells off and okay so coming back to the baiting right always open the i'm not sure what this is the tail or whatever it is right out i place my hook in the center make your hook proud find it so your hook must be proud okay you take your cotton and you start winding it up, okay? And you, not too tight, okay? And the tail bit, just make it nice and tight so your bait stays straight, okay? Then you take your second sea lice, okay? You're gonna put it the other way around. So now the tail goes down and the head goes up like this. So it's the opposite. Okay, and the same thing. Tie it up. Okay, it's time to make a bit of a mess here, but let's see how it goes. Okay, tighten it. Don't use a lot of cotton. You don't need a lot of cotton. Remember, hard cotton makes a difference on the bait, so soft cotton as well. I prefer fishing with the softer cotton, the ghost cotton, okay? So, and then you make a loop and tie it towards the top. So when you cast, your bait stays like this, okay? So basically, this is my double sea lice. Now, and I've been quite productive recently with my double sea lice, the exact same hook, same trace. So if you guys wanna try it out, remember, 
you need your sea lice, you need your license. Um, keep your hook nice and proud, sharp, okay? Remember when you generally get bites for grunter and stuff, big grunter will just bite and pull and generally they get hooked. Sometimes a smaller grunter will bite a bit slower. That's where you gotta let them run. That's why your running trace uh, comes into uh, play, all right? Remember grunter, the big grunter, yes, I would say they pull down very hard. Pompana, yeah, but sometimes you just, they just like feeding. They like sucking the bait and eventually when they're done, they decide to move and when they move, that's when you strike. So yeah, this is basically a sea lice presentation for now. I will be doing some other baits sooner or later as I change my baiting, depends what I'm fishing for. I will do some videos and keep you guys updated. Okay, so that's my sea lice presentation. Hope you guys uh, like it and get a chance to test it out. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. For now, keep it real.